Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will study or we will talk about the characteristics of the graph of any quadratic function. So last time we have uploaded a video so you can see our previous video about quadratic function. And last time also, we already uploaded a video on how to convert a quadratic function into vertex form. So again, this time, ang focus natin naman is to know what are the characteristics of the graph of a parabola. So dapat alam natin yung different parts. Basically, you know, dapat yung vertex, axis of symmetry, opening, intercepts, tapos yung domain and range of the graph. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have here a direction given. Determine the vertex, direction of the opening of parabola, axis of symmetry, domain, range, and yung ating intercepts of the given graphs. So I have here on the right side a graph of parabola. This photo is taken from Google and kinapi ko na lang siya. So our task right now is to identify what is the vertex, opening of parabola, axis of symmetry, domain, range, and intercepts. So makinig lang tayo at ina natin yung gagawin natin. First, yung ating vertex. So we know that in definition, vertex is considered as the highest point or the lowest point of any parabola. By the way, before I start determining the vertex, tandaan na, there are different parabolas. Meron tayong apat. But in quadratic function, we only considered two parabolas. One is opening upward and one is opening downward. Okay? So let's go with the vertex. So how to identify the vertex? Here, this one is the vertex. And the coordinates of that is 0 and negative 9. Okay? Kasi nasana siya within the y-axis. Again, the vertex is 0, negative 9. Now, for the opening of parabola, look at the arrowheads. This one. The arrowheads points upward. So therefore, the opening of parabola is upwards or upward. Ngayon, we can also identify whether yung ating vertex ay minimum or maximum. Since yung ating parabola is upward, ibig sabihin yung ating vertex is considered as the minimum point. Okay? Let's move on with the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is the broken line or the line that divides the parabola into two equal parts. And dito sa ating, sa ating graph, yung ating axis of symmetry is yung ating y-axis. So, paan, itong ating y-axis, eh, nagkataon na na sa y-axis siya. So, how are we gonna create an equation that can express your axis of symmetry? Ang format kasi niyan, guys, ay x is equal to h. Yan yung format na ating axis of symmetry. So, sir, paano yan? If the format is x, h, anong gagawin natin dyan? Yung x, copy nyo lang. This is the equation na x. And then look at your vertex. Your h is equal to 0. Therefore, the equation of the axis of symmetry is x is equal to 0. That's it. Okay? And then, let's move on with the next characteristic. We have the domain. Yung domain natin, in a quadratic function, is always yung set of values of x natin laging set of all real numbers. Ganun yung domain ng isang quadratic function. Hindi siya nagbabago. So, how are we gonna write that domain? So, we can write here, like this one, x such that x is an element of all real number. Ayusin na natin yung pagkakadrawing ko ng element na, ano, na symbol. Again, as always, yung ating domain, kahit anong, ano pa yun, quadratic function pa yun, the domain is x such that x is an element of all real number. Ang ibig sabihin nun, kapag element of all real number, ibig sabihin, lahat ng value, possible values ng x ay considered na kasama. Okay? So, I hope na natandaan nyo yan. 
Let's move on with the next characteristic. We have the range. Yung range natin ay hindi naman siya ganun kahirap pero that is different from the domain. Puntahan nyo ngayon yung vertex nyo. Your vertex is here at i-consider nyo rin yung opening ng parabola which is upward. If ang opening ng parabola nyo is upward, you will be using greater than or equal. Again, kapag upward, greater than or equal. Kapag downward naman, less than or equal. So you will be writing here y such that y is greater than or equal to negative 9. Yan yung ating range. Kasi pansin niyo from negative 9 pataas, lahat yan ay kasama sa values ng y na meron tayo sa range. Okay? So again, y such that y is greater than or equal to negative 9. Now, for the intercepts, mayroon tayong dalawang klaseng intercepts. Kailangan natin tignan. We have the x-intercepts and the y-intercept. Yung ating x-intercept, uh, those are the part of the parabola that intercepts the x-axis. At ito sila. Kailangan lang natin kunin yung coordinates ng mga point na yan. So, sa ating x-intercept, that is, ito muna tayo, ha? focus tayo rito. That is, 3, comma 0 and negative 3, comma 0 laging 0 si y now for the y-intercept check, check nyo muna yung ating parabola yung ating bang parabola ay dumaan or nag-touch sa y-axis yes, meron siya ito mismo yung ating y-intercept so therefore, the y-intercept is none other than 0, comma, negative 9 ang setup naman dito kapag y-intercept ang hinahanap mo uh, you will be assigning x b equal to 0. Okay? I hope na nakuha nyo na yung points or yung characteristics ng parabola within the first example. So, let's move on with the second example. So, for this graph, this one is quite different from the first example. For the vertex, ito yung ating vertex. Kunin na natin yung kanyang coordinates. You have, that is negative 2, comma 4. These are the coordinates of your vertex. Now, for the opening of the parabola, as you can see, pag ito yung ating parabola, ang kanyang opening is downward kasi ito, itong part na ito ay nasa baba. Saan yung kanyang arrowheads? So, the opening is downwards or downward. Ayos natin sulat natin. This is downward. Now, for the axis of symmetry, as you can see, ito siya. Kailangan dumadaan siya kay vertex eh. Okay? Kasi din nyo, nakatapat siya kay negative 2. So, ang ating format ay x is equal to negative 2. Ay, x is equal to h. At kung kapansin nyo ito, tumatapat siya sa negative 2. Therefore, your axis of symmetry or the equation of your axis of, of symmetry is x is equal to negative 2. At kung mapansin nyo, yung h nyo is negative 2. Okay? So let's move on with the domain. Same pa rin po. x such that x is an element of all real number. Then for the range, so tinan natin mabuti ha. So range natin, you have y such that y. Pansinin ha, yung ating um, ay sorry, minakalimutan tayo Yung vertex natin is the maximum point Kasi yung ating parabola is downwards Now, yung range, na, yung range natin Balikan natin Since downward yung ating parabola We will be using less than or equal At kunin nyo yung value ng k Which is 4 Kasi nakatapat naman siya dito sa 4 Then for the intercepts Sa x-intercept tayo. Ang x-intercept natin ito, itong dalawang ito. So, yung una ay 0, 0. Tapos yung pangalawa naman ay negative 4 and 0. For the y-intercept, meron kaya tayo. Meron tayo. Yung ating y-intercept is also 0, 0. Okay? So, based on two examples, I hope na natutunan niyo yung mga 
different characteristics or parts ng isang graph ng isang quadratic function which is yung parabola. And kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe. At i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!